I know that some of you, unlike Bill Corbett, actually do follow my blog. <laughs> you may be aware that I am working on an album right now. It is called Giant Robot Album. I've been talking about it for two years, and we finally did a Kickstarter. Did you, did you do my Kickstarter? Did you do the thing? Yeah. <laughs> You, I'm sorry you missed out. Uh, but the Kickstarter's happened. I sent everything I could on time, which is apparently rare, and 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 the, the album started recording. We have done everything but two more days, which I will do three days after I get off the boat. I have to give a chance for me to, you know, get my, my land legs back. <laughs> I am recording with a band. I have other instruments. They're amazing. They sound like Ben Folds plus Surf, because they're in California. <laughs> Their name is The Long Holidays. You should commit it to memory, because you'll like them. And, and this is one of the songs from the album. The album is a bit different than some of my other albums. It is less fan fiction and a bit fanish, but we will see. This song is called The Swan's Name Was Ingram. Woo! <laughs> the Swan's Name Was Ingram. I read that book 11 times. 11 times. On Sunday afternoons, when I had nothing else to do but sit and memorize the details of the world in which I wish I lived, and more than that, the authors' lives who wrote them. Mm -hmm. My world of balance, world of ruin, world of early mornings, waking up to take a fearless dip into the serpent trench, and afternoons in Arden, taking notes of all the words. I didn't know, with just two ages down and five more left to go. But all these hours stacked like bricks between the person who I was and who I wanted to be. Time to turn the pages. My house was big, my world was small, so it was waiting for me. Maybe I'll read my book one more time. My robot armor. I put it on before I left my room, my little room. The clunky legs and clumsy arms were poorly made, but inside was the only thing I thought was true. I couldn't share myself with anyone, with any place, with anything except the worlds I made. Written in the pages of the books I read and stories wrote, and music that I practiced and played. I read the Elysium on the Tower by Grace. Back in my slanted room with books all around me, I thought I knew that I already knew enough to be the person I envisioned. Hello, the future with me. Anne and Emily and Jane and Joe, like all those heroines. Thank you. 